friend of mine up here, uh, Jimmy Lawrence, is not only the uh, proud parent of three very distinguished alumni of our school, uh, but he is also, uh, he was about as active as you could be as a parent. Uh, he'd often come to uh, more than one, uh, uh, I think he just liked the Father's Day breakfast, but uh, if, if there was an opportunity to volunteer, he was there, uh, and, and now uh, he is serving on our uh, campaign steering committee. He's also uh, the husband of a beloved third grade teacher that both of my children uh, are blessed and have been blessed to have, so Jimmy's going to come and talk a little bit about the campaign, so thank you, Jimmy. Thank you, Father Ben. Good morning. As Ben said, my name is Jim Lawrence, and I'm a member of the Campaign Steering Committee. Uh, when Stacy asked me to speak today in front of this congregation, I felt nervous. Nervous because I usually listen in church, not talk. But then I realized I often don't listen very well in church, so if I don't speak well today, it's really no big difference. <laughs> I don't attend St. James Church, nor do I currently have any children at St. James School. So you might be wondering why I'm here today. I'm here to say thank you. To tell you why I'm thankful, I have to take my story back about 13 years. That's when my wife, Nell, and I were expecting our first child, my daughter, Anna Mae. Nell came to me in a panic. I was scared. Was it the baby? Was she not feeling well? What is it, Nell, I said. She said to me, we have to get this baby added to the St. James preschool waiting list. <laughs> My jaw hit the floor, and I felt relief wash over me that the baby and Nell were fine. I said to her, why in the world would we have to worry about that now before the baby is even born? She said, because everyone knows St. James has the best preschool. Now, as I've come to realize, Nell is always right, and she was right about this, too. St. James School was and still remains the most wonderful place. As Ben said, all three of my children have been molded by the loving hands of St. James teachers, aides, assistants, helpers, a whole team of people, all with one goal in mind, to help share with the children in their care a love of learning and a love of God. As a first-time parent, I was so impressed with the place, and I still am today. I have great admiration and respect for how well this church is run and how well this school is run. And now my wife, Nell, is a teacher at St. James, she gets incredible joy, not just out of the students and her fellow staff, but the church community who have embraced her as well. When Stacy joined as head of school, I saw that same wonderful school taken to new heights. I've been friends with Stacy since high school, and it has been such a joy to see her do such a wonderful job. When Father Ben joined the church and became involved with the school, I was also very impressed with him, and now I'm honored to call him a friend. I see how much he cares about the kids and how well he interacts with them as he shares the word of God with them. I think any church would be fortunate to have such a great rector like Ben. And any school would be lucky to have such a great head of school like Stacy. But to have both of them working together is such a blessing, not only for St. James, but also for our whole community. You know, most people expect their kids to make new friends at school, and mine did. Their best friendships to this day started right here. But Nell and I have also made so many wonderful friends through St. James. Some are fellow parents, others are teachers, and many of more are members of this church. So for all this, I am grateful. That is why I'm here today to say thank you. Thank you, St. James Episcopal Church, for having the foresight to begin this school and create this connected community, a community that has embraced me and my family. One of the ways that Nell and I would like to express our gratitude to you all is by donating to the capital campaign on April 2nd. Thank you all. <laughs> 